Hi, welcome to tutorial on Cadence. This video demonstrates how to use various predictive technology models for CMOS design and verification. Here, you can observe different types of PTM models starting from 20 nanometer to 7 nanometer. You can use high performance NMOS as well as a PMOS. For this, what you have to do is you have to open them. So I am using 14 nanometer HSPICE model. This is for NMOS and this is for PMOS. I am going to use that in the cadence watches. So for this demonstration, I have considered the design of CMOS NAND gate as an example. So let's begin the designing process. Go to the file, new library, then create a library of any name. Here we don't have any technology models. For that case, you can click on do not need process information. Click OK. Now the library is created. Go to the file. Click on new cell view. This time you provide the design name. I am going to create a NAND gate with two input and the mode is schematic. Click OK. It opens the Virtuoso schematic editor window. Here you can place the NMOS as well as the PMOS. For that case, go to the create instance, click on browse. Right now we don't have any technology models here. Select the analog library. You will have the default NMOS as well as PMOS and everything available in this particular library. So select the PMOS PMOS 4, which is a 4 terminal device. Select the symbol, click OK, place the component. Now it doesn't have any technology associated files. So, for that case, what I am going to do is select the transistor, press Q, provide the model name as FET, whatever it is pro provided in the technology file. Since it is a PMOS, I am going to use PFET and I am specifying the width as 30 nano and length as 14 nanometer. Click OK. Now you have specified the PMOS or PFET width. 14 nanometer length and width is 30 nanometer. Similarly, place the N MOS or from here you can select the N. Similar process, select this transistor, press Q. N fit. So this name has to be provided and the name has to be in the library. And the default width I am giving is 30 nanometer and length is 14 nanometer. Now I am going to create a NAND gate. Select this, copy the instance. Create the instance of this. Make the required connections. And then this connection, all the bulk will be grounded. 
so i am making the connection as per the diagram of a just nand gate basic design place the pins i'll call it as a as the input and b is the another input this is for a and this is for b as the second input get the output from here and place the p out change the direction to output select this now you require a supply that is vdc and ground go to the analog library you can place vdc component directly by typing in the cell click vdc get the ground and you require two inputs for that case i am going to consider or take v pulse two pulse inputs one for the first input and this is for the second so these require grounds for that you make the connections first or let me change this here you place a ground pin connect the ground and supply copy this ground cell this again one more copy is required for this and a copy here this finishes the circuit designing connect the ground pins here you need to specify the dc voltage so select this press q and provide the voltage as 1 1 volt supply you need to specify the transient pulse here so i am going to assign the values as 1 period of the pulse is 100 pico and delay is 10 pico fault time is 10 pico and roughly i am giving the pulse width to be 50 click apply similar process here you can specify 0 to 1 this time it is 200 pico you can vary this rise time is 10 pico fault time is also 10 pico and this time it is 100 pico hundred pico click okay now the designing is completed before that you need to check and save here we need to connect the substrate to the vdd all the connections are made check and save shows one warning here the ground is not connected here check and save everything clear then click on launch ade l so here you can load the analysis right click i am going to simulate it for 600 pico second i can take moderate click apply dc analysis as well if you want you can perform but right now i am going to perform only one transient analysis click okay and select this and 
select the output from the design that is i want to plot a b as well as b out click ok once this is done your ade window is loaded with the analysis as well as the input output now you are ready to simulate but before you simulate you need to perform the setup that is load the model libraries click on this here you need to load it or select the ptm models so I already have saved 20 nanometer fet sp as well as a 14 nanometer right now i am going to use the 14 nanometer technology file for this video demonstration similarly you load the pfet as well open and click ok the names within the model library has to match with them that is the model library will have you can the names are nfet and pfet click ok once this is done you can click on netlist and run to view the results you can observe that for a NAND gate, whenever the input and outputs are 0, 0 or 1, 1, you can see the condition. For 1, 1, it is 0 and for 0, 1, it is 1 and 0, 1, it is 1. So, it is a truth table or verification of a NAND gate. So, you can use PTM models directly in the cadence virtue suit.